Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today I'm going to be making a showcase of a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use Framify properly to uh, create a website on your own if you're a Framer designer. So uh, basically we're going to go through this tool called Framify, which by the way is one of my favorite component libraries in Framer. Not only do you have amazing, rich, massive library of components, but you also have these uh, templates that are not only just websites, but they're advanced websites with um, tools like Framer Auth, for example, as you can see here. So um, without further ado, let's get started. This bookmarking features is only available to Creator Plus members, um, which by the way, this is where you can get it. This is the price. And in comparison to other component libraries, it's a great price. And you can also use this to create and sell templates. So that's also a big plus because most of the other component li libraries, you have to pay like 200 bucks or something like that. So now what I want to do is basically bookmark a few things. Um, I want to bookmark, I don't know, like a few sections, maybe a, a top banner. So I like this one with the countdown. I can bookmark this. Then we can go to a nav bar over here, navigation. And I'm going to also choose one that I, I pretty much like and I'd like to use in different projects. I like this one because it's kind of like more advanced. You can see that there's a sign in and register now maybe for making some cool advanced templates that are linked with Framer Auth. So let's bookmark that. Then we go, we can go to um, hero section and let's pick a cool hero section that we like. Uh, there are a few different options with different styles, which is great. One with a full image. Um, we can even load more and there's even more hero sections. So this one looks pretty cool. There's, it's a text with a button and two images look pretty dynamic. So let's bookmark that. Then we can go to features and bookmark a few different features. So we have, for example, uh, this one, we can get this one as well. So we have one image that's on the right, one image that's on the left. We can have something like this as well. Now let's go over here. I want to, I was actually thinking about something, um, like this, like pricing. So we can look at the different pricing options. This one looks really cool. So let's bookmark this one. We need a call to action, of course. This one seems pretty similar to the hero section. So let's book this one as well. And then let's get an FAQ and a, and a, and a footer, right? So FAQ, and let's go to footer. And then we get a footer that we like. This one looks pretty good. But let's see what else we got. Let's see, then we load more. Look at all these different footers that we got here. It's a massive amount. Look at this. This is also with like a cool design. I actually like this one with the logos. Let's choose this one. So now that we bookmarked our sections, we can go under dashboard and go to bookmarked items. And here we can easily see all of the bookmarks that we've done. So I have about like 10. And what we can do is we can just actually go here all the time if we want to you know basically build a lot with these components and just copy them from here right copy copy you can even view them as a as a as a link now once we have our bookmarked items what we can also do is we can go under dashboard and go to remix framer files and we have two things here so we have a starter file and we have a design file and a design file is basically if you click on this where you will have a framer file of the different components in Framify. So if you scroll down here to the left side, you see all these different sections, uh, call to actions, you see even starter pages. So you can, for example, see all these different FAQ pages that are already pre-built and you can copy them to totally, or you can just copy certain components inside of them, right? So this is a great reference as well. And then if you click on this Remix Framer starter file, you come to this starter file tab and basically you just, you don't really see anything. There's no pages, there's no layers, but if you go under assets, you're going to see all the different styles. So there's all these different text styles that are already, you know, pre-built in this, in this specific file. There are these link styles and then there's the different colors that you can basically open and edit, right? So this is like a grading, a great start, start point um, in order to, start a new Framer file. So now if we go back to Framify and we can go to our dashboard under bookmarked items, what we can start doing is already 
copying, copy pasting all of the different sections into Framer. So we can go here, press paste. And remember, it's always important to fill in, to make the width fill and to check to see if the variance, double check to see if the variance match the, 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 the frame, right? So in this case, it automatically does. So that's great. So we got our top bar and now we want to navigate to our nav bar. Here it is. And we got our nav bar. So let's post our nav bar right under this component. And you can already see the, the layers stacking underneath each other. Let's put fill. Let's get our hero. Let's paste and fill. And then what also what's important, as you can see, this is going under the frame. It's important to make the desktop height fit to content. Also, what you want to do is you want to, once you're done adding in all of the components from Framerify from your bookmarked um, section, you can go ahead and start unlinking and replacing the components. And then under this, you can just replace these text with the styles that are already in this pre-made section. So you can just go like this, right? You can edit some of these things, like for example, the line height to be like this. And already in Framer, if you were to, all of these colors are basically uh, with matching this uh, file. So all you can do if you want to change the colors, if you want something more reddish, you can go like this and change the color style to something a little bit more red, right? If that's something that you want. What you can also do is you can go to a website like this, the met, the meat toggles .framer website, and you can, for example, copy something like this, which is basically a night mode and light mode switcher and copy this component and bring it somewhere like in your nav, nav bar, right? And we can just add it somewhere. Let's say we want to add it on this column and put it over here. Uh, we can do so. And when we publish our site update and we open this link, we can click this and it's already toggled to a night mode. Right? So that's also a cool trick with Framify. Also, another thing, uh, right now we just have our homepage, but as I previously spoke about, um, if we, go, we were to go to dashboard and we were to go to Remix Framer files, and we were to go to this um, library, right? Which I have open here, we have different starter pages. So we can use them as different inner pages for um, our website. So let's say that we have our homepage right here in our, in our starter file. But if we go to the library in the second framer file, we have, for example, an about page, right? So let's just pick one. I like this one because it has like the whole team. So we can just pick this, copy it. And then what we can do is we can go to our other file here, create a new page. Let's call it like about, and we can paste it here. Boom. And it pastes automatically with the uh, with the colors that we have in our in our Framer file, right? Obviously, these would be different because these are images, but everything that is built in Framer, it's uh, it basically takes the colors that we have in our assets. So once again, like I, I show, showed you before, we have to fit the height of the canvas to fit, and then we just make the other sizes, make sure that everything is responsive. As we can see here, there's a different uh, nav bar, so we can just go here copy and paste the, the, our favorite nav bar here and make sure that everything, you know, is in its proper responsiveness. Right? So, um, yeah, that's a great example of different ways to use Framify to actually build a website. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, basically, once you're done, you can just publish the website, like I said, update it. And then obviously you can open it like this and go through your website. And if you were to minimize it, you can also see kind of that everything is responsive, right? So thank you guys for staying here and watching this. If you have any questions, please feel free to, to comment and, uh, 
And I also have the link to Framify in the description of this video. So please feel free to visit Framify, um, get it and start building and launching a bunch of beautiful websites. Thanks and have a great day.